the way that I hope everyone is doing well. And most importantly, I hope everything is working for you all good. So just quickly, there is something that I want to talk about today that has been aching on my mind for some time. And I just decided I share it, share it with the world. Now, the question borders around why Africans are always copying Europeans or why they always want to be like Europeans. You give an African an African name, they want to change it to a European name that sounds more European than Africa. Africans are just not proud of their own thing. Mm -hmm. And why is that? I think the reason why Africans are not proud of their own thing is that there is no African model for Africans to follow. For example, we Africans have a rich history, but still the young people today of this generation and probably the past generation did not benefit from that history because we were intentionally robbed of our own history. And there's a, there's a reason why all this was done. And for those that know history very well, you can remember that Alexander Library in Egypt was born down, but that's another story for another day. But the reason why this was done, this was done intentionally by our colonizers to rob Africans of their spiritual backbone. Because just like we all know the popular saying, when a man doesn't know where he's coming from, he will never know where he's going to. And that's the story of Africans today. So we always want to copy Europeans because we don't have an African model to go back to or to look at. Now, if you all remember, because I can retract back when I was in secondary school, we were barely taught of our history. As a matter of fact, we were taught histories like the man that discovered River Niger called Mongo Park, a Scottish explorer. Um, he discovered River Niger, a river that was flowing even before his ancestors was born. But somehow, somewhere, he came to Africa and discovered that river. That, that was the kind of history we were taught. Now, we're not taught how powerful our ancestors were. We're not taught that. We're not taught of the rich history they have. But rather, we were taught, they taught us about the history of white people and white folks and how powerful they are. An African student can, or an African person can retract what happened in England in the 1500, but we don't even know what happened in our own continent in the 1500. See, when a man doesn't know his history, his spiritual backbone will be broken. And it's not only black people living in Africa that have this problem. When you go to the United States, an average black man in the United States don't have a sense of history. And it's not their fault because that was done intentionally. It was done intentionally for them not to know because they robbed their ancestors of their knowledge of self, of where they're coming from. A black person in America cannot comfortably tell you the country that he's from because that spiritual backbone has been broken. But a white person living in America can tell you um, about it. even his, could tell you the history up to his 10th generation, you know? But we don't have that luxury in Africa because we can retract back. Listen, the reason why we're struggling today or the reason why we're not making headway or the reason that why we're not proud of our own thing is because we don't have a knowledge of self. When you have a knowledge of self, and when you know who you are as a person, you'll be proud of everything. But when you don't have that connection to connect back to your ancestors, there is no way you'll be proud of yourself. Even in school, I remember very well, we were taught about the great thing Albert Einstein did, we were taught about the great things uh, Isaac Newton did, but none we were not taught about any African that did any great thing. So when you think about greatness, you think about white. You don't think black. You don't think brown. The only thing that comes to your mind is why people are great. They've done outstanding things. 
But you can think about Africans because we've been brainwashed to believe that we're not good enough to bring anything good on the surface of the earth. And which was a big lie and still a big lie. In recent history, the reason why Bill Gates was able to do what he's doing today and create Microsoft was because of what an African did. But nobody know that. A lot of people don't know that it was because Philip M. Awali, which is from who, who, who is from Nigeria and precisely Biafra land, was born in Onitsha and went to America to study. He was the one that created the fastest computer. It was from creating the fastest computer that gave Bill Gates room to develop Microsoft. But today, Bill Gates is the main man and nobody knows Philip M. Awali. We have cases like this that black men have achieved excellence, but still nobody knows them. And all the people we can talk about is the white folks that created things. We black people have internalized it and believe that we're not good enough to create things. Now, when I say we, I'm not talking about every black man because we have some black people that have a knowledge, some knowledge of self and that are proud of themselves because they can retract back to what their ancestors did or who their ancestors are. See, I urge your black people to begin to dig and search for history of who they are as a people. You can say you know yourself, but when you don't know your ancestors, believe me that you're just walking or you're living a life of try and error because if you don't know your history, it means that you don't know yourself. You wouldn't have a knowledge of self. And knowledge of self breeds confidence, it breeds positivity, and a lot of things that will make you achieve your goal as a person. And another thing that I want to tell my black folks, most of those that are privileged to have this knowledge of self today, we should be easy with our black brothers that don't have it because it's not their fault to be robbed of their history. That was the done intentionally to keep black people down forever. So I find it interesting that sometimes Africans, once they find a new thing out or once they discover something, then they look at other people like they don't know what they're doing and which is wrong. You can be criticizing people for a decision they didn't make themselves I believe that if you have knowledge, share and be patient with others to catch up with where you are. Because, like I said before, this the fact why the robbed us of our history was to break our spiritual backbone. So we can go back to who our ancestors used to be and we can make connections with that. So the only thing that we can connect with is the greatness or the people that have done great things in the past in the West. Those are the people we can connect to. And that's why we're not proud of things like our names, our our culture beginning, fade, beginning to fade away because of this foolishness. So I encourage my black brothers to be patient with, all the, with their brothers, even if they don't know, teach them with love. Don't criticize them because we are all in this together. So I'll leave you in peace this morning and I urge every one of you to dig deep and have and, and, and have some self-knowledge, find out what happened to us in the 1500, because you know what? Knowledge is power. And the reason why I'm saying that is that the knowledge today is in front of us. You know, there's a lot of things you can learn today. It's not like back in the days. And for some of my brothers that know, keep sharing the message, keep speaking, and I pray that God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon. Yeah.